Now from the scrap heap to a symbol of regeneration, the voyage of the SS Robin, the world's last remaining steam coaster. She was built on the River Lee in East London in 1890 and after more than a century of service, it seemed her time was up. But now she's been overhauled and spruced up and today the Robin was towed into place in the Royal Docks to signal, say organisers, the area's own transformation. Here's Phil Bales. It's the ship equivalent of a grade one listed building. Only Cutty Sark and HMS Belfast have the same status in London. The Robin is a steamship with a precious pedigree. She is as important as the Cutty Sark. Um, she is the last survivor of the British coaster, which was in effect the, uh, the heavy lorry of her day. So uh, she is very much uh, part of British maritime history. Built in 1890 on the River Lee, the SS Robin plied up and down the coasts of Britain and Northern Europe. With a cargo of tyne coal, road rails, pig lead, firewood, ironware and cheap tin trays, as the poet John Macefield put it. The last skipper to sail her back from Spain remembers the Robin fondly. I was the last person who gave orders on this ship, and has, oh, I am the last person. The six Spanish sailors who lived off um, tomato sandwiches and brandy, as far as I could make out, and couldn't wait to get home. Anyway, I eventually rang, finished with engines on that ship, and went down the engine room and turned the steam off. And the very last time? The very last time. Nobody can take, that's history, can take it away from me. Today, hauled by tugs along the Royal Albert Dock, Robin struck an amazing contrast to mass transport of today. The passenger jets of City Airport, which now dominate the docks, once awash with cargo ships. The final voyage. This old steamship is back where it belongs, back in East London. And some say it could become an even bigger attraction than the Cutty Sark. Almost £2 million has converted SS Robin into a fledgling museum. The ship floats on a huge room. Another £3.5 is needed to complete the work. Newham Council is determined to add a true cockney, the Robin, to its list of attractions, hopefully for 2012. I'd like to see it moved up down the bottom of the docks there, right beside our cable car and right beside the, uh, the Siemens building down there and with all the other things that are going to happen in the docks there. You are going to see this dock taking off. Other cities have fantastic docks, you know, where lots of things happen. We're going to have that in London soon. Some might say plenty of water must flow under the bridge before all that's achieved, but the Robin's now part of the Olympic dream. True, her Victorian turbines will never drive her through the seas again, but at her new moorings opposite the XL, she may help keep the history of East London's docks alive. Phil Bales, London Tonight.